Epcot. Yay! Yay. We're at Epcot. So our first ride will be frozen. We're gonna take the plunge and probably wait times. Good thing that we ate before we got here, so we're not hungry. So fifty-five minutes. That's about an hour, not bad. And sometimes it's like 80 minutes, so all right, not that bad for a summer Friday. But we're still having a fun time. Right, Lynn? I'm eating Yeah, she got like the mambo or, keep it over here close to you. The mambo or mambo um, candy. Show your, oh, this one. We're in um, Germany right now. Uh, Rita totally like ate her popsicle really well and it got so she got it got everywhere on her so she's not gonna be wearing her princess dress anymore which is fine and then um very true and then i then i also got the caramel popcorn and it's really yummy super yummy and everything with her candy and my popcorn everything came out to like roughly around eight something eight dollars some because the popcorn was 6.99 but because of my pass holder discount I was able to get a little bit cheaper price is it really good then what was your, what's your flavor that you're getting right now I'm eating strawberry cotton candy and it's so yummy so you heard it from her, folks. It's really yummy. Anyways, we're gonna be just um, hanging out here for a bit. It's yummy, yummy. So, anyways, whew, it is hot, but there's not that many people here, which is really crazy. But I don't know if it's because of the rain, because we've been having a lot of forecasts of rain. Yeah, so it's a little bit easier actually to do vlogging because there's not that many people here. So, anyways, we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.
I think it's because it's about to rain. And um, I did precautions for our stroller, so I have like a poncho over it, so crossing fingers and toes before we're done. It doesn't, our, our stroller is not soaking wet. But yeah, so the girls are washing their hands and um, yeah. and it's so nice in here, it's so pretty, it's so calming. And that's all I have to say, really. This has been a really great Epcot experience, I have to say that. I think a lot of it is because it's not that busy today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's a week before 4th of July and that's why it's not that busy, but it's just very calming, very relaxed. And that's the best. Anyways, check you guys later. Here is our hors d'oeuvre. So what are we eating? Some mozzarella caprese. Caprese. And that, it looks so good. I did go to Ross, but only first, but second. And the girls wanted to go to Hobby Lobby. Because the girls love Hobby Lobby. I went to... I don't like anything yet. For five, ten minutes, you've been saying you liked all these different posters and pictures. No. Sure? That's what she wanted. I remember you saying you wanted that. Even Lynn, you said you wanted that one, right? No. We'll get this for Lynn. I got you. No, no. thank you. I don't want it. It is so gray today, so we're not going to do the um, pool. But we did some shopping around. We went to actually Goodwill. And we found like a little skirt for her birthday. And then Rita's also gonna a little skirt too. And we got her some shoes and it all came out to like 11 some dollars. Yeah. Which is really good, right? You like? My, my birthday's coming up. Yeah, your birthday already Mom. passed. But hers is coming up this week. Mm -hmm. How old are you gonna be? Seven. She's seven years old, guys. Can't yeah, believe my it. My birthday. baby's growing up. But anyways. Inside Out to Inside Out. Yeah, we're planning to watch Inside Out on her birthday. Yay! All right, everyone. Um, I wanted to end this vlog, but before I do it, I wanted to show you exactly what I'm using to kind of blend the sideburns with the wig. And so it's the Ever Pro uh, Gray Away Root Touch Up. Oh, oh, you want to show her? Show them? Yeah. What did you get from your grandma? I huh? got this back. Grandma and Papa. Oh, this is so cute. She For got her. a little... Uh, she doesn't even really have a bottle. Because she's the queen. She's actually a queen. And it's done now. She's a queen. Oh, she's a queen. All right, sorry about that. So, anyways, this is what I use. So again, as you can see, it is brown. And I just kind of throw it 
I'm going to throw it, rub it on my hair. Like so, as you can see. Do the same thing on the other side. Again, my hair is black, so you're not going to see too much, but it'll be kind of like little highlights almost. And you can kind of see it. You can't fully see it too much, but you can kind of see it. And then all you gotta do is just rub it in. I forgot where I got, I don't know if I got this at Ulta or where I got this at. I totally forgot where I got this at, I don't know. But I like to wear that because it helps me blend in everything. Just put this on. So how I put this on is just I make sure that all my hair is pushed back, and then I kind of pull it up as much as I can. Then the back part, pull it down, and then use the little um, comb on the bottom. Now here's the trick, because everybody sometimes has a hard time with this. So what I do is I just get a clip and clip this up so there isn't any real difficulties. I know people always like to say, well, there's some difficulties, so I'll, I'll put it upside down and put it upside down. In reality, you don't need to do that. All you gotta do is just clip it up and then just put and then just connect it back there and then you're pretty much done and then i'm using a leopard print today and and these are this is actually one of the ones that i had that did come with with one of the headband wigs i forgot which one it was though but it does work pretty well and then I just, and see, I don't know if this is from the makeup, the brown, or if it's uh, the marker that I use. I think it's the makeup more so. But I just wash it off. It's easy to wash off. So. As you can see, it's all washed off. So. Now what I do is I just brush it. Just brush, brush, brush. That's all I do. Brush, brush, brush. All I do. And there you go. Again, I have fallen in love with headband wigs all over again. Um, I have decided to go ahead and stick with the brown, um, the brown color, only because um, I like it fully brown. I like it fully black. Don't get me wrong, I do, but um, I don't know. Ever since I put this one on, which was last week on, I think Thursday, or, no, I think it was Thursday, Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday last week, and. Ever since, she has a oh, she does. She has a water bottle, like almost like a um, a hydro flask. Yeah, my cool, huh? Oh, good. Cause look, there's this one more we surprise. I didn't even know that. One surprise, and she had a neck. She had to have a necklace, but it's on the face. Yeah, guys. Good thing I got my bottle. I only need my bottle. It's like it's like a sissy. Mm-hmm. So anyways anyway, so I I'm really liking this color and so I feel like I'm gonna go back with black to brown on um, like an ombre thing. So that's again why I went ahead and I did use that marker and I feel like it does work to some extent. 
it works pretty well. Um, here's on this side. It does work to some extent. I feel like it is something that goes well with this. And so, and unfortunately, I just can't find anything that's like a black to brown headband um, wig that has this kind of curl pattern. It's very hard to find. Even the human hair ones, um, I haven't really seen them yet either so like I feel like I'm just probably gonna get this same wig again when it does need to be re when I do need to re um basically I need to get a how do I say this a refresher one um because again these are you know again they are synthetic and sometimes you do need to go ahead and get a new one because of the frizziness it gets and um so I'm probably just gonna get another one of these again and then just do what I've been doing with the roots and that's pretty much it guys so again I really do like it I love this curl pattern I really 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 do and I love the 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 tones of these browns are just really pretty and it really does go well with my skin tone so I feel like um, if I have to, if I have to keep on getting this one and then just putting the roots in myself, I'm perfectly fine with that. So anyways, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you kind of more in depth, like what, like, how do I do it? Um, and how's the upkeep so far? So far, so good. Again, I've only worn it a few times. Again, the most, maybe four times the max, um, five and um i'm really liking it and i like the fact that this does keep you cool like i wasn't overheated yesterday when i did all the when me and my hubby and the girls did our errands yesterday so i didn't feel overheated with it which is good and yesterday was hot it was up in the 90s so anyways um that's pretty much it and um this concludes the vlog our last vlog of June. Today's the 30th. It is Sunday. And yeah, after today, hello July. Bye guys.